Hi, this is Cheryl Hazard. I felt like talking about the subject of jealousy today. And it's hard for me because, well, I've been particularly jealous of my brother Alex. He got straight A's in school and I had to struggle through school. I had to struggle just to get B's. I did typically get A's in band. That was the one subject where I did get A's. But the rest of the time I had to struggle through the rest of my classes. My brother is a math whiz. I mean, you know, cal pushing through calculus with A's. And I struggled to get through algebra and hated algebra. I mean, I did not see the point to doing algebra and I hated it. I mean, yeah. And my brother, you know, he rarely gets sick or it doesn't seem like he gets sick very often or for very long. And me, I get sick a lot and for long periods of time. And I get hemiplegic migraines and my brother doesn't get them. And it's not that I really want my brother to get sick, not really. It's just, I want to not be getting those damn headaches. I want not to be getting sick all the time. But that's the thing. It's not gonna help me to focus on what my brother, that my brother has good health. What I need to do is focus on tending to my grass. You know, um, and I have started tending to the grass, trying to deal with the headaches some. Like I started taking magnesium and I started doing a liver cleanse. I'm hoping, you know, because I found out the liver plays several roles in issues with headaches. So, you know, I can sit there and be jealous of my brother and focused on something that maybe not, doesn't help me. Or I can switch my focus a little bit and maybe be feeling better. I've, my mom at one point said, why couldn't I be more like Alex? And it hurt. And I think she may have just said that in a moment of frustration because maybe there was something she wanted me to do and I wasn't doing it and maybe she didn't know how to handle it better. I don't know. And now that I'm a parent, I realize that parents say things in a moment of frustration that can be really hurtful, but they don't, maybe they just don't know how to do things better at the time, you know, um, because I realized that, you know, kids don't come with an instruction manual that says all the personality traits of your kids, all the issues that they're going to have and how to get them to want to listen to you specifically because each kid is different, you know, um, the, that doesn't come with your child when you have a child. You just have a kid and there it is. So I think my mom may have said something in a moment of frustration and didn't handle it well. And you know, there's things parents say that are sweet to hear too. You know, my mom said I had a heart since the day I was born. So, you know, moms can say things in moments of frustration that come out, uh-oh, and maybe they shouldn't have said that. And then there's things they say where it's so sweet. I'm like, can you repeat that? Um... So there's that too. Um, but what's hitting me is that it is not my job to be just like Alex. It's my job to learn how to make the most of my talents and my abilities and to make a life for myself where I'm using them to the best of my ability to make a difference both for myself and for other people. And if I can do that, then that's awesome. And my brother, well, it's his job to make the most of being himself. And if my brother's good at that, then that's great. You know, if my brother knows how to make the most of his talents and his skills, that's great. Now I just need to work on doing that myself. So anyway, what I'm saying to you is that if you're jealous of somebody else because they have something you want in your life or 
they're good at something where you might want to hone in on the talent or something, there's a couple options you can have. You can talk to them about how do you do that and learn from them. Or you could hone that ability yourself. Um, or you can decide you want to be uniquely you and to make the most of being uniquely you. And I'll tell you something, we weren't all meant to be the same. So, you know, it's okay if you're uniquely you. <laughs> Use unique you to do great things.